Hey guys, and welcome back to Mashinki. I really enjoy this game, and I love these little, like, fly-throughs that you can do at the start of the... I was going to say the start of the game, but I love the little fly-throughs that you can do whenever you want in the game. I don't know, it just looks so good. It's nice to get, like, a, a train management game that actually looks pretty decent. Uh, what is with my PC today? My PC, legit, will not record even 30 FPS. My, like, I swear... Everything is dying on my PC. I need, 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 need to sort out like new graphics card, new fucking everything. New everything. That will be as soon as I've done my fucking taxes and I know how much money I, I've got to actually spend. That is the next task because this is a joke. Hey, we can collect our reward. Don't need to timber. Oh, well, that's gonna happen, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. The Rune Church is never gonna happen. Right, I think I got the... I think I put another... coal train on this. Hopefully. How are we doing for iron? We've got a ton of iron! What was I having issues with? Just timber. <laughs> it is actually, it's just timber. We've got 210 timber down here now. That's the thing, it's like, we've got 210 timber down here. How? Um, this one here, extensions. Oh, there's a product storage there, which is a one-to-one -one ratio on everything. 150, so let's get that going. There we go. Maybe back down to 60, but it's good, uh, it's good ratio regardless. Yeah, we need, uh, I think we need something. Nam rock that comes down here to bring coal. I think it is. Did I not say I was bringing a second one? Zek doing it as well. Where is it? What's this called? Bournemouth. Yeah, Zek's doing it down to Bournemouth. And is Nam rock doing Bournemouth as well? Yeah, he is. Oh, it actually, looks like I have. I stop on some. Have. Interesting. I was wondering why I just stopped there. I mustn't have uh, sorted that properly. Yeah, so Namrock and uh, who's the other one? Can't remember. It's not Shamu. Ah, can't remember. Uh, got a second head frame. This coal mine as well. I thought I'd already done that. Oh, God knows. Or did I build it down? No, I didn't build it down there. I was like, did I build it down here like an idiot? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. See, to be honest with you, that's what I would have been better off doing. Is connecting up this iron mine to this uh, this train station. No, I mean, so that I could that way I could load up this um, iron and coal at the same train the same train station. I don't think there's really any anywhere else that's like that. Oh, it has iron and coal quite s quite close together. And then you could just load it all up at the in like a a good even ratio. Right, we do have two hundred of that. We've got two hundred of that. We're almost at. Oh no, it's only hundred. There we go. Let's get in the diesel age. Oh, that's all we've got for the early access version. Oh, that's sad. 
Oh no! Oh, we're pretty much like. Wait, that mean we're done. That mean we're done with Mashinki. Oh, that's really sad. I was hoping to get like another one on the go and like another resource, get some oil or something. Oh, that's really sad. Like literally just got to the point where everything was trucking along nicely. I mean, we <laughs> saying that we quite rapidly managed to get to the point where we're making so much iron. Like it literally just as soon as it got connected up and we ran out of, uh, we ran out of, we stopped having coal issues. Then we were pretty much sorted. But I suppose that's what happens when you make a train system that's designed um, to have a lot of trains on it. I mean, all these these junctions are designed for high throughput. The only thing that should have changed is that this should not be the the hill this one should be the hill, but other than that, it's perfectly fine. But yeah, it's nice. I like my train system. Um, if I was playing it again, I'd probably do it on a bigger map, though, because this map was very... It got very crowded very quickly, especially when we started doing some of the... Uh, these really nice junctions. Uh, I'd do a bigger map and with more features and stuff on it. Maybe like less towns and less um, like less industries to make it a bit more interesting. Um, I think I would have a single train doing like iron ore and coal, or maybe like saying that you could just do it. You just do like eight iron trains and eleven coal trains. <laughs> but yeah, if you've done a single train that had like. Um, Eight iron wagons and eleven coal wagons. Then it's just like one drop off, and you know you're getting the right amount, or at least a ratio of one or the other. Um, it's nice that they added the the ability for the towns to properly grow <laughs> mid us playing this because uh, it definitely seems to have helped that along. What's that? It's two hundred and eighty-two out of seven hundred and thirty. I'm sure, we should be transporting people a lot. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, Glasgow never seemed to really grow at all. Maybe it, maybe it didn't, I just didn't notice it, but yeah, it doesn't seem to... Didn't seem to grow very quickly. Yeah, I know, I really enjoyed this. Um, I hope that he... He keeps working on this and keeps pumping out updates because I would love to play some more because it's really got me itching for another like this style of game I know there's a couple out there but yeah and I don't want to play open transportation tycoon again I might do but I don't know I prefer something a bit newer oh, there's a game called rise of industry that I might give a go um I was talking to one of the PRs about that I just need to email the guy to, to get a code but yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed Mashinki. It was a nice throwback to uh, two games like Open TTD. I wonder if there's anything that we can really do. But the church, it's like I don't, I don't really want to do anything more in the church. Jan Zelini. Seven eras from the steam age to the future. Sixteen different cargo types. Twenty-one industries. Over twenty-five railway engines. Stories, quests, and challenges. Multiplayer for up to eight players. That'd be fun. Yeah, it's like living materials to ruin church. So, I mean, okay, it's 250 wood and 150. Like, it's just a lot of crap. I don't even. Where is the ruined church? God knows. Hardly even be worth it. To be fair. Yeah, I don't know, it was interesting. Let's go and have a look at some of the, the other... Let's save this just now. Uh, let's go and have a look at some of the other 
settings or some of the settings I use. So I use the 128 by 128, which is actually the smallest. Right, low density forests, low density everything else. Yeah, that's what I done. I done recommended for your first game. Uh, high density, low density, low density, low density, medium density. Alright, let's see what this... Oh, there's an advanced tab. Let's see what this generates anyway. Generating. I also think one of the nice things... Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's much bigger. Much bigger. Although, I think that the mountains are a bit too much. Jesus. <laughs> oh, we've got Blackburn. Little forest here. Yeah, like, look at how nice this game looks. I don't know, maybe, like, let me know in the comment section below if you want to, uh, to see me do another game. Maybe, maybe not as extreme as this with the, the mountains and... Actually, no, we can make this work. We can make this work because there's like a... Because this area here is a bit lower. Yeah, we can make this work. That's a lot of fucking villages though. Yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to, uh... To do this. Oh my god, look at these guys living on top of this. Oh, it's a forest. There's a forest up here and there's a coal mine up on top of this mountain. Oh my god, could you imagine? Oh, could you imagine having to like snake like along the side of the mountain and like lift? Oh, that would be so cool. Just to get to the coal mine on top. Oh, that'd be sweet. Well, yeah, like I said, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to, uh, to do something like this. Um, and do a brand new game just on a, a bit of more of an extreme map than we were uh, we were playing on before. But uh, yeah, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Studio, you've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.